Hey my beautiful Kiss Divas, it is your girl Tracy Simmons and I am here with my April favorites. First I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. You guys have been so wonderful like with the, the comments and the love that you guys have been showing. If this is your first time watching one of my videos or you keep coming back for more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button girl so you can be a part of the family. and. Stay up to date to all of my videos. So I'm gonna jump right into these favorites. The very first one is food, and I've been trying to include, you guys know I've been losing a lot of weight, I've lost even more, but I'm not gonna share that because your girl has been working on weight loss videos that will start next week, so I'm not gonna give the spoiler now. But one of the things that I've been loving lately are kind of bars. And I love this as an in-between snack or even like a semi-dessert after I eat dinner. It is, my favorite is the peanut butter dark chocolate and they have like a caramel other one. And I really like it. It's made with healthy greens. It's like a granola bar type thing. And it is just so good. This one has dark chocolate and peanut butter, two of my favorite ever <laughs> anything. And I love it. Oh, it just tastes so good. It's 150 calories per bar. Um, it does have a little sodium in it, 75. And the carbs are 23, sugars is seven, it has three grams of protein. So that's why I said I consider it like my little dessert without having dessert, if that makes sense. <laughs> I love these. I buy them in the box form at Walmart. When I go to the grocery store, right at the register, they have them right next to the candy bars. And I love grabbing those when I have that taste for munching or a taste for a candy bar or something like that. This is a much healthier option. Okay, let's jump into hair. I am back on my Caraveda tip. You guys know last summer I was going hard and I am back on it again and what i've been using to refresh my hair every single day is their caramel caramel souffle i said i said it right i messed it up in the other video but i said it right just now that's the caramel souffle i am loving this i just take this and spray and just kind of massage it into my hair and then i go ahead and seal it with an oil i went back and forth between this and the cream brulee which i love but this consistency is just a little bit thinner and it just works better as far as giving me weightless, you know, moisture on my hair. That's actually what they claim is weightless moisture. The other thing that I've been loving from the line is the Hydromax Cleansing Co-Wash. Now you guys know I am a shampoo girl. I am a shampoo girl. So for me to fall head over heels for a co-wash, <laughs> it's so good. It is so, it's like crack in a bottle. When I say this makes, I mean, this right here just for detangling purposes is good. This stuff in the shower, oh my goodness. It literally feels like butter. And when you rinse it out, your hair feels so moisturized. It makes you want to just skip deep conditioning altogether. That's how moisturizing this is. Absolutely love this stuff. And this is the only bottle I have. Oh my goodness, I gotta get more. That is what I'm loving right now for my hair. Now for the makeup. <laughs> the very first thing I wanna show you, I actually haven't had it too long. I got it during the VIB sale. Wish your girl did not go crazy. I got like two or three things from the VIB sale. But it is the Sephora Blush Palette. They came out with a, and a highlighting palette. It was just as pretty, but it reminded me so much of the Nicole Guerrero palette, which I have, so there was no point of buying a dupe of it. Look at this. Do you see the colors in this palette? It is very brown girl friendly. Honestly, this palette really works on any complexion, the way they have the colors. This is gonna be perfect for my new job. Yay. Uh, I have on my cheeks now, I have this matte one and this one as a topper. And for my highlight is this gold right here. And it's the perfect gold because it highlights my face, but it's not an over the top highlight. That's why I said this blush palette is going to be perfect. The next thing is my girl, Beauty With Mika's fault. You guys hear me talk about her a lot on my channel. She is actually a good friend. Um, and it is the Too Faced Hangover. She gave me some samples. 
why you give me samples samples always get you in trouble and i fell in love with it it is um, a replenishing face primer with coconut water probiotic based ingredients and skin revivers i have dry skin it's just something that I have to deal with. And this moisturizes my face, but at the same time, it primes it. It helps my makeup last longer. I just absolutely love this stuff. And look at the packaging. Isn't it so cute? Look, at it's like a tube, but it has a pump. Oh, and I heard, thanks to Beauty with Mika, that they're coming out with a setting spray. So I'm so going to get that. Okay, the next item, well, I might as well stay with Too Faced is the born this way undetectable medium to full coverage foundation i am loving this foundation so much so so much and the reason why i tried it is because for one you guys you know i've been concentrating on using up my products and within the last six months i have used up all of my foundations like i was literally had to buy foundations i wanted to try this one because everyone raved about how good it is for dry skin I love this foundation. It's full coverage. I want to say it has like a satin uh, finish to it. Absolutely love it. Love the fact that it's medium and buildable to full coverage. The color that I'm in in this is mocha, which is totally different. I had trouble matching myself the first time because you, I'm never mocha in a foundation, like ever. But I'm mocha in this. It does tend to be a tad bit too red, just a little bit, but I know when this summer hits, not to mention when I highlight and all that, it balances it out. But I love this. I love this so much. The next foundation, yes, I have another foundation. Last month I had a drugstore foundation. I have another drugstore foundation. And I went back to an Odie But Goody and it's the L'Oreal True Match. This is what I'm wearing right now. This has been my go-to everyday foundation. Especially when I don't have anywhere to go. Like today, other than the mall with my girl, Beauty With Mika. But anyways on the days like this this is what i reach for i love this foundation so so much i love how it's it's more of a light i don't know it's more of like a medium coverage i guess but i love how my skin looks so radiant as i wear it throughout the day only bad only negative about this foundation is it doesn't have a pump i'm trying to use more um drugstore foundations when i'm at home or just doing low-key stuff and save my more expensive foundations for work or church or hanging or whatever the case may be so that is my favorites i hope that you guys enjoyed god bless each and every one of you if you did enjoy only if you enjoyed go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and it, again if you are not subscribed I send an invitation to you to go ahead and stay up to date to all of my videos and be a part of the KISS family. Remember sisters, always keep it simple and I will see you in the next video. Bye.